Hello everybody, Up Games, and welcome to some stuff I've been doing lately. Mostly playing with neural networks. Yeah, I just let this play here. And as you can see, it's, it's just randomized creatures. Some of them are better, some of them are worse. The simulation right now was like it keeps the population at 30, like every time the population goes under 30 it will spawn new creature randomized creatures until some creature will be good enough to survive in this environment that population will go up like yeah nothing it's just a basic neural network I have actually the three neural networks that are linked together there's like the input network that takes all the input and pros processes it into like four layers like it's input to hidden and one up layer and then it inputs it to the master neural network mm, let me see yeah here's the input and yeah it runs it through the all the inputs there's vision and memory and stuff like and yeah there's memory neural network separately that will take all the in outputs of the master neural network that's the central neural network that the input neural network fades into and like the thing is I don't I have no idea if this is the optimal way to set up this probably not but like I just playing around with it and I generated my own neural network class with matrix class that all the operations like basically the forward pass because uh, it's an evolution simulation so I really can't use back propagation because I have no idea what the values are going to be so I'm using genetic algorithms to change the weights of the neural network so like uh, if we go to neural net you can see here it will run this neural network net passer that passes the previous networks weights to the next and then it mutates the and crosses the networks if if there's two like if he, if the creature that's gonna reproduce has two parents it will cross over those and choose randomly like which points to cross over from to take gene pairs from either the parent that's giving birth or the parent that's the inceptor or <laughs> however you would say that I have no idea yeah pretty fun little simulation and as you can see like now the population has risen to 70 so they can sustain their own population and if I just click this off and yeah everything is done in unity unity 3d but I'm, I'm doing it all in 2d yeah. yeah you can see I have a grid that all this like spawn points of everything of the creatures of the food and like these red dots are the food if you <laughs> didn't notice earlier yeah I'm pretty bad at explaining this stuff and like I'm actually just playing around with the concept of these things like I've been playing around with different kinds of neural networks and doing it wrong so many ways so many times like this is, I think, this is the right way to do it. Like, they actually learn, so it works. So I th think I'm doing it right. And uh, I'm not an expert on this subject. And the thing is, they will regress sometimes very badly. Like sometimes the population will get up to like 200, and then they will regress down to like 120 for a while, and then start again. It's just like some of the genomes are just they don't work because of the random 
factor of it. So you just get the weight until the point that's some creature that can. And yeah, like they, you can see those pulses of colors. They, those are like sounds, like cook question marks or whatever those are, like sounds that they can emit, and every creature can sense those sounds as inputs. They added these guys have like if it, if I just de maximize this or what well, or whatever. You can see like on the right hand side we have these net layer sizes. So the layer sizes are set, they don't change. Just because like I had one thing to be able to reproduce amongst themselves or something like that like I could do a system where they could have different sizes and it could deal with that but I will do that later yeah I should probably like make a game object that all of these objects parent themselves to like I haven't you can see the brain or anything because I didn't bother to make that visualization thingy for that like if when I've observed these guys learning I've like uh, gone to the shop and left these open on my computer for like a couple hours and they get pretty good at it they start to find the food really fast like it's not fast but they start to find the food pretty well at some point like the population will reach like over 200 with just like because it spawns 30 pieces of food randomly on the scene and like yeah I forgot to say like every time the uh, creatures go uh, like to the bottom of the screen they will uh, be teleported to the top of the screen and if it goes too much to the right it will be teleported to the left and all that stuff. Like yeah, you can you will probably see the population count go up for a while and then they will probably die. A little more. But like each population every single creature will probably get better. It's just it's because the mutation rate is random chance and the crossover is random so it's just luck when they find it but there's a constant stream of creatures so at some point they will get better right and then those genes will pass on more and all that good stuff but like for the last year I've been building all kinds of evolution simulators and games and even published some games on the Google Play Store for the Android but like this kind of stuff is just stuff I love like y you can see it right now they're learning to get the food better and the population can has risen to almost almost 90 the thing is I I'm really bad at talking about this stuff I just like to build all these simulators and just watch them go it's like my little ant farm slash aquarium <laughs> that I le just leave on just watch it go or just uh, watch some YouTube videos and let it run on the background and just see after like a uh, 10 hours what's happened and, like uh, if I watch this for a long time it, it will probably just like a couple of different species rising up and then some of them dying out and then some new species taking over or some species developing in another species and this development is just like they have a neural network with all the weights when they pass the, to the forward pass if you know about this stuff and they just they have genomes that decrease the value and increase the value or keep it the same and they pass on those genes and there's a learning rate associated with it and all that stuff Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a debug that shows the 
size of the scene. Yeah, it, it, it isn't perfect in any aspect. I, I'm like uh, planning to convert these, you know, all of these three neural networks that handle the different kinds of data to uh, recurrent neural networks like R, R and N's because I kind of know how to do it probably <laughs> after a couple of trial trials and errors probably but like I have a, the basic idea pinned down so I will probably do that because these are just feed forward three different feed forward neural networks that work together and one of them feeds back to the uh, inputs of the other but yeah It's just fun to watch these guys and see, like, try to see what they're doing and what kind of different sound patterns and things. And they can change their color and sense each other's colors and all that good stuff. See the food and get an input for that there it is food or it is another creature. And they like that spiky thing is their mouth they can eat each other <laughs> I actually forget to say talk about that they can actually learn to eat each other so they probably don't want to eat their own species so I, that's why I think they're all red so they don't eat each other because when they start up they usually flash every random color possible with the RGB values and same for the uh, like the sounds. They can change choose what color their sound will be, and they have an input like if this uh, threshold is over 0 0.5 or whatever it is, they will make a sound. And they have a cooldown associated with them, so they can like do infinite sounds in infinite frames or whatever. <laughs> like I said, I'm not very good at talking about this stuff. Like, it's it's fun to look at these guys. And I I realize I'm just talking shit all the time. <laughs> yeah, there you have it. It's just, it's just a neuro basic neural network thingy fun for everybody. I'm up games. <laughs> Thanks for watching.